Well, hi there. Um, so, uh, so in the previous few videos, uh, we have sort of derived the Cauchy-Riemann equations, and um, and in particular, in one of the previous videos, we explicitly checked uh, for the mappings W Z equals Z, the identity mapping, and W Z equals Z bar. Um, we checked it both geometrically uh, that W Z equals Z is analytic, whereas W Z equals Z bar is not analytic. And we've also seen this through. Uh, through, uh, through, through the Cauchy-Riemann conditions that for W z equals z, uh, the Cauchy-Riemann conditions are satisfied and one can uh, meaningfully define a derivative, whereas for the function W z equals z bar, the Cauchy-Riemann conditions are not satisfied. Um, so in this video, let's take up another mapping which we haven't yet talked about but, but, but which, will, which will have uh, very uh, useful um, consequences, um, uh, not just uh, in terms of its analytic properties but for some other features that arise in the complex plane. But for now, let's just check uh, for the mapping um, WZ equals Z square and see, uh, let's just check uh, whether it's analytic or not. Um, and, and then we'll talk more about uh, these kinds of mappings, in particular mappings of the form Z to the power of N, where for now, let's take N to be some positive integer. N is a positive integer. Um, so let's just spe spe uh, specifically consider the consider the case n equals two and look at this mapping uh, to begin with. And just to just as a reminder, uh, the Cauchy-Riemann conditions uh, require that the partial derivative of u uh, with respect to x should be equal to the partial derivative of v with respect to y, <coughs> where u and v are the real and imaginary parts of the function u plus i v. Um, and, and, and the partial derivative of v with respect to x uh, should be equal to minus of the partial derivative of u with respect to y. Um, now u plus iv for this particular case, uh, let's derive what these are, should be x plus iy whole square. Uh, so when, when we square this out, we'll have x square plus i square y square plus uh, 2i xy i square is minus of 1, so this will give us x square minus y square plus i times 2xy u plus iv. And therefore u, um, u is x square minus y square, whereas v is 2 times xy. Uh, now, now let's check whether uh, these functions satisfy uh, the Cauchy-Riemann equations. So the first thing we need to check is what is du dx. So u is x square minus y square. u as a function of x comma y is x square minus y square. Therefore du dx, the partial derivative of u with respect to x is simply two times x uh, because uh, y sort of, go, uh, the derivative, partial derivative of u with respect, with, with respect to x will get rid of this factor and we just have two times x. Um, and then we also know that b as a function of x, y, is 2xy and therefore the partial derivative of v with respect to y which is which is what we require to check uh, for the first Cauchy-Riemann condition the partial derivative of v with respect to y is 2x okay and therefore um, therefore the first Cauchy-Riemann condition that du dx is equal to dv dy is true because both of them are equal to 2 times x so this is correct uh, now we need to check for the second Cauchy-Riemann condition, uh, which is what is, d my, what is du dy. So since again u is x square minus y square, so du dy will be minus of 2 times y. And then we require, uh, we need to find out dv dx, the partial derivative of v with respect to x, and dv dx is also 2 times y. And therefore we see that dv dx is actually minus of du dy. So the second condition. Uh, requires that dv dx should be equal to minus du dy which is equal to 2 times y in this case and this condition is also satisfied. So the function wz equals z square is analytic is analytic <coughs> because uh, it satisfies both the Cauchy-Riemann conditions um, and now uh, what is its derivative? So the derivative w prime z is either we can write it as du dx plus i times dv dx. Now du dx is 2 times x plus i times dv dx is 2 times y. And this is nothing but 2 times x plus i y, which is 2 times z. Um, 
and, and this is again uh, intuitive from what we know about functions of one real variable because what we have is w is equal to z squared and if you differentiate this with respect to z we will expect 2 times z. Uh, just like for a real function if we have uh, fx equals x squared its derivative with respect to x will be 2 times x. Um, so this is good uh, and in fact it turns out that uh, if we check this for um, other functions also of the form um, uh, z to the power of n then we'll find that dw dz they, they are all analytic and dw dz is actually given by the same formula that we know from the function of real variable it will be n times uh, z to the power of n minus 1. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I hope uh, this sort of uh, builds a, a bit more intuition of how to check the cauchy riemann conditions. Um, and let's take up a few more examples in uh, some, some of the coming videos. Um, see you there. Thanks.